This video is brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. In today's video we'll be installing windows on a Raspberry Pi 4. For today's video we will be using the following items, a USB adapter, a Raspberry Pi 4, a micro to full-sized HDMI cable, keyboard, and mouse, and an SD card or USB drive. We will also need a Windows 10 PC. As of today you are able to do this totally off of a Raspberry Pi or running Raspberry OS, however I think the process is a bit faster on a more traditional PC. We will also need some software, so we will be downloading and installing WOR or Windows on Raspberry. This software is the only legal way to install Windows on a Raspberry Pi. You'll need to flash your firmware if you wish to boot from an SD card or USB drive. If you haven't seen my video on updating your firmware, please take a look at that video first before you watch this one. You can find the link to that video above or in the description. The first thing we need to do is download the needed software, let's get started, shall we? Of course you can find the link in the description, but you can also find the download by googling WOR project. Once you have found the download page click the get started link. You will now be asked what kind of computer you're using to build your image. We will select the I have a Windows machine option. Here you will be presented with detailed instructions on installing your image. Please focus on the Getting the Windows Image section and select the Getting Windows Images link. Once here you'll see two links at the top. Pick the second link, as this seems to be the simplest option. This next section is important, so please take the time to review your selections. You'll want to make sure you've selected the Windows Insider version, then select an ARM64 version. As far as the language I'll be selecting US English, then click the Windows 11 Professional, and for the download type, please select the ISO Compiler, one-click run option. You will now want to click the link titled, Multi-Creating ISO, to download the automated script that will download all of the needed files we will use to make our Windows image for the Raspberry Pi 4. An ad may pop up. If it does simply close it out, and your download should continue. We should now be able to find our downloaded script in our downloads folder. However, before we execute the script to generate our needed files, let's do a few things to our computer to speed it up, and to make sure the antivirus doesn't stop our efforts. Now that we've temporarily shut down our antivirus and any labor-intensive programs that will slow us down, we need to start our script. I'd recommend right-clicking on the script and running it as an admin. You will get a warning, simply click on the More Info option. Then click Run Anyway to start the script. Once the script is running, you will see a terminal window open, and our script will start the process of downloading and building your Windows image. Please do not close the terminal window, and please take note that our script will be adding folders and files to the root folder that it's placed in. I'm kind of lazy, so I just let it do its thing in my downloads folder. You will also get a menu letting you know that you can turn some options on or off. The default works well, so simply hit enter and the process will continue. This next part takes time. How much you ask? That depends on the speed of your internet connection and the power of your computer. The faster your total system the less time this will take. I personally have mostly old office equipment, so we will speed this up and even skip some of it for time. I also wish to use this opportunity to thank you for watching the video and ask that you like, subscribe, comment, and even share this video. It really helps the channel grow and helps me bring you more content. I truly hope you enjoy and find my videos useful. Now that our script is done and we have all the files we need, we will be presented with an option to press any key to exit in our terminal window. 
hit any key on your keyboard and this will exit us out of the script. However, we'll also need to download the WOR Imager, also known as the Windows on Raspberry Imager. In order to get the right imaging software we will need to navigate back to the WOR project's website and find the downloads page. You'll want to click on the Windows on Raspberry Imager. At the time of making this video they are on version 2.3. Your version may be different. Your download should start right away. However, if it doesn't we can also click the manual download link. There are a few other tools on this page that are very useful. I found both the Boot Partition Mount Utility and the Pi Monitor program, both very helpful. At this time, we'll open our WOR Imager. It's provided to us via a compressed file, and I'll be using 7-zip to unzip the needed files. You can use any program you wish. I like 7-zip as it's powerful and free. Make sure you unzip all of the files in an easy-to-find area. I'll be making a simple subfolder in my downloads section, and I'm naming it Trasp Imager. All of the files in this zip file will be placed in this folder, and we will use the executable to run these program files to build a Windows image on our Raspberry Pi. As I'm sure you can tell by the audio prompts I've just placed a 32GB USB drive into my computer. It has some files on it from an old install. Please disregard those as they will be formatted shortly. We will now start the WOR executable and select our options to start the automated process. We'll need to select our storage device and the hardware we'll be using. In our case it's the 32GB drive and the Pi 4. As you can see I've got a warning letting me know that if I want to boot from a USB drive, I'll have to update my bootloader to the newest version. I've already done so, and if you need to, you can find a step-by-step -step video on how to update your bootloader in the description. As you can see I'll be disregarding this and moving forward. We'll now need to tell our imager where the Windows image is. If you recall mine is located in my downloads folder. So I'll navigate to its location and tell the imager what file to use. The next section is going to ask what edition of Windows that I would like to try. I have no idea if this will work, but I'm going to try the enterprise build as this version generally takes less system resources. I'm not sure if this will make a big difference and you may wish to keep with the pro build. There are some Windows terms and conditions you will need to agree to in order to move forward. After you agree with the terms and conditions, all you need to do is hit install and let the imager software do its thing. This is also going to take some time. Again, the time it takes will depend on how fast your computer and your internet speed are. The faster your systems the faster the install will go. We'll be speeding this up and even skipping some of it for time. However, I do want to take this drawn out section of video to tell you to check out the video of my Pi Farm. Building the Pi Farm is the reason I took the time to learn how to put Windows on a Raspberry Pi. You can find the Pi Farm video in the above link and in this video's description. And with that sound we now have Windows installed on our 32GB USB drive. It's now time to place our USB drive into our Pi 4 and start the booting process and the basic setup. Before we boot into Windows, let's get into the BIOS settings and do some basic configuration. To enter the BIOS settings hit your escape key, when your Pi is booting up, you will see a prompt for it at the bottom of the booting screen. Once in the BIOS setting menu, we will need to navigate to the Device Manager section and hit Enter. We will then move to the Raspberry Pi configuration menu. The Pi 4 is able to display in 4K however we will be limiting our unit to 720p to help with the overall performance.
we will also be disabling the 3GB RAM limitation. Once you're done exit, but be sure to save your settings before you exit the BIOS. When you're done with those two settings, navigate to the continue option and hit enter. This will reset the system and restart our booting process. The booting process takes time, and this is our first boot. The operating system is going to set itself up and will even prompt us for a few answers. Because the booting time takes so long we will again be speeding this up. However, I will stop at important sections to chat it up and point out important parts. As you can see the system will also restart. That is normal just let Windows do its thing. After what feels like way too much time, Windows will start and you will be given a welcome screen that will continue the first boot setup. As you can see we're at the Windows Setup Welcome screen. However, Windows is running slow and sluggish. Some of this can be helped with the right settings. Today, we will only be doing the basic setup. You're going to get your standard setup questions. The first of which will be asking you what region you're in. I'm again going to speed this up to help us all save time. The next question is going to be about the keyboard layout. I'll be picking the US keyboard layout and moving on. I want to point out that I am connected to the internet via the ethernet port and as you can see Windows is looking for updates. You will need to also accept the Windows terms and conditions. Now for the fun part. Microsoft really wants you to sign up for an account. This really is a great system for them. However, it's less than cool for me. In short you're going to want to click on the sign in options if you don't have or want a Microsoft account and you wish to still use the computer. After you click the sign in options, you will need to click on domain join instead. It's now going to ask who will be using this device. They're looking for a name. I'd put something that makes sense to you. I'm going to enter the name not used. Because I think it has a nice ring to it. Or maybe I should have used Rusty Shackelford. The system is also going to want you to password protect this PC. I am not going to do so, as I want my computer to come to a full boot and run as automated and unattended as possible for some of my projects. Because of my need for automation, I will not be adding a password to this install. If you need a password please feel free to add one. As I said I will be doing a very basic setup, and most of this setup will be turning unneeded things off. Like everything that you see here. All of it off. Simple as that. As you can see it looks as if we are getting closer. Lose like we're almost there. And boom we are running Windows on a Raspberry Pi. 
Now there is a ton of other things we can do from here, but it looks as if this video is already over 15 minutes long. So I am going to stop here. However, it is very easy to overclock your Windows Pi, and we have a ton of settings we can change to give us a little more juice. Maybe we'll make another video about it. Also, pay no mind to the system's properties thing that pops up. After you hit yes it goes away. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.